account of Flavius Josephus, a Jewish historian employed by Rome mm. shortly after the time of Jesus. In his works, Judean Antiquities, the following historical facts about Jesus are affirmed. Jesus was a wise man, a doer of startling deeds. He was executed by crucifixion by Pilate, and he had a group of followers that still existed at the time of his writing. Again, the fact that Jesus gets so much airtime is... Baby, you can call me a superman Hey guys, welcome back to our channel It's your boy, Jesse Keegan And the Funny Longo And we are Funny and Jesse So right about now, we're gonna do another reaction But before we get into the reaction, guys, we wanna thank everybody out there for subscribing to our channel And also we wanna thank the people out there Sorry, who've been able to suggest to us uh, some reactions And you're the biggest MVP, man And um... If you're new to this channel, we find in Jesse, we do a lot of reaction videos. We do we do any type of reaction videos. If you are if you have any type of reaction videos you want us to do, just let us know in the comment section, and we'll be able to do it for you. And uh, so right about now, we're gonna do another reaction. And this one right here was suggested by a lot of people. This this suggested that we should go react to did Jesus really exist? And this is from the Illuminate. Episode 2. So, without any further ado, guys, let's get it. Did Jesus really exist? Philosopher Bertrand Russell once wrote Historically, it is quite doubtful whether Christ ever existed at all, and if he did, we do not know anything about him. Now, this is a staggering claim especially in light of the fact that a significant portion of the world's population claims that not only did Jesus exist, he is also the only authority on how one should live. So we have to take this issue seriously. Did Jesus really exist? Let's set aside the New Testament for a moment. What can we learn about Jesus just by studying history? As it turns out, the ancient Roman historian Tacitus, who's been referred to as the ancient world's most distinguished historian, records one of the most significant events in Jesus' life. He writes that Jesus was crucified under the Roman governor Pontius Pilate. At the time, history was usually only written about kings and other important people. Jesus' career to that point was that of a traveling preacher and healer in a backwater province that Rome didn't even care about. So the fact that Jesus is even mentioned at all is staggering. Additionally, this is the only historical mention of Pilate. So the fact that he is linked with the death of Jesus is particularly significant. We also have the account of Flavius Josephus, a Jewish historian employed by Rome mm. shortly after the time of Jesus. In his works, Judean Antiquities, the following historical facts about Jesus are affirmed. Jesus was a wise man, a doer of startling deeds. He was executed by crucifixion by Pilate, and he had a group of followers that still existed at the time of his writing. Again, the fact that Jesus gets so much airtime is astounding. Given that both Jews and Romans hated Christianity, neither Tacitus nor Josephus had any incentive to record anything about Jesus. Unless it was actually true. There are tons of other non-Christian historical references to Jesus, including the facts that Jesus was executed by the Jews, when Jesus was executed, an unusual darkness covered the land, and that Jesus was crucified on the eve of Passover. So just by studying historical references of Jesus, we can learn that Jesus was a Jewish teacher, he performed healings and exorcisms, he was rejected by the Jewish leaders, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate in the reign of Tiberius, his followers, who believed he was resurrected, grew massively in numbers and spread out geographically all the way to Rome by AD 64. All kinds of people from the cities and countryside, men and women, slave and free, worshipped him as God by the beginning of the second century. Now earlier, we set the New Testament aside for the sake of argument, but now let's bring it back to take a look. The history we just studied corroborates what's found in the New Testament, so it's worth wondering, should the New Testament also be considered historically accurate? Hmm. Here are three reasons to consider the New Testament as historically accurate. First, we have more ancient manuscripts of the New Testament than any other book we would consider accurate canonical history. Also, the amount of time that passed when the New Testament was first written and when the first copies were made is a significantly shorter duration than for many other ancient texts. Here's why this matters. The more copies we have, the more confident we can be that we can recreate what the original document said. The shorter the time interval, the less opportunity there is for copying errors. For the sake of comparison, let's look at Tacitus again. We only have 20 copies of what he wrote. 
and the earliest copies were written 1,000 years after his originals. In contrast, we have over 5,000 New Testament copies, the earliest ones dating within 50 years of the original writings. So, if we consider sources like Tacitus to be historically accurate, it's reasonable to consider the New Testament historically accurate as well. Secondly, the New Testament has repeatedly been proven true where it mentions historical facts. Archaeological discoveries have confirmed many references made in Luke's writings. For example, he correctly refers to Philippian rulers as praetors rather than doomviers. He correctly places the city of Iconium in Phrygia, not in Lycaonia, as Cicero states. And he correctly identifies the Corinthian proconsul that encounters Paul as Gallio. Therefore, if the New Testament is true in these historical facts, it's reasonable to think it's trustworthy in other regards as well, such as its mentions of Jesus. Thirdly, the New Testament records many incidents that could potentially damage the reputations of early disciples of Jesus. Potentially scandalous or harmful things like Jesus calling Peter Satan, or the fact that the disciples constantly misunderstood who Jesus was and what he was about. There's no reason for this content to be included, unless the authors wanted to record what actually happened. Back to the root topic, Bertrand Russell says there's no evidence that Jesus existed. Historical and biblical record offer evidence that, well, he did. So, did Jesus really exist? If we're going by researched evidence, then it seems pretty clear. question of did Jesus really exist, I think it's just upon individual to, um, to to go deep and find out to get it. According to what this guy is saying, there's no um, historic evidence of Jesus' existence. So, I mean, a lot of people... There's no historical proof? According to what he's saying. He said it's there. Oh, it's there? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, um, I think, I think... There's two people, there's two historians that are written about that are written, okay, okay, okay. That are credible. Okay. Like, um, according to, um, uh, this person right here says that there are two historians who, uh, wrote about Jesus' existence, which it might appear real or, or I mean, it might it might appear real because I don't know. Maybe because maybe, Jesus set set foot in into different places, yeah. And also, I think uh, we can find his tomb where it was, yeah. We 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 can find some traces of of, of Jesus' existence. I mean, they they should be, but some group of people say that Jesus never existed, and they have their own. But you're saying there is proof. Because of his tomb? Yeah, probably his tomb you know and where he set his feet. There's more than one tomb. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've read it. That's why I, I was mm -hmm. going, I was going. Other than just reading it, I saw someone's vlog saying this is where some people thought he was buried. Mm -hmm. This is where others thought he was put to rest. There are some group of people who say that Jesus never existed and they say like Jesus is just um is a is a what is a fictitious uh, character in the Bible, probably in these other religious books, which uh, they give out valid reasons that Jesus never existed. You get it? But now, they, I mean, they, there's so much confusion here and there. You even don't even. Be, I mean, it, it it leads to a point where you, you like you don't want to believe. This person existed, or maybe it, it. Do you think Jesus existed? Um, that's a really hard question to 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 uh, to ponder. Cause for me, at this stage, you were once like, Christian, yeah. Yes. You believed he existed then. Of course, yeah. But now you're in the search in this. I mean, right now. What as, are you looking? At? What are you following? Right now, as I'm agnostic, I'm this type of a person. What religion are you leaning towards? Like which which religion am I thinking that it's more? You're saying okay, this religion makes sense. Okay, for for me, uh, as 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 
for now as I try to look into this religion matters or factors, I feel Islam is a religion that they believe in Jesus. So you believe Jesus no. existed. Ming Ming, I didn't it doesn't mean that when I go with Islam I have to agree with everything that is in there in the Islam. No. You get it. I'm saying I agree with Islam. I like how they do their their things, how they're so religious, how they pray five times and all those factors, you get it. But when it comes to this other factor of of uh, what do you call this uh, Jesus and these fictitious uh, people in the Bible, maybe in this religious group, that's why I, I find myself disagreeing with some some things, you get it? Some fairy tales that that they are so hard to even so you believe. Don't think Jesus existed. Reason B nine uh, let's say it's 70% of myself thinks that he never existed. I feel like my my I don't know. I feel like because the thing is, if he existed, why can't we find even a small trace? Or maybe okay, fine. The guy said the historian who actually found uh, traces of Jesus' existence, like you said, people you are saying said there's a tomb. Yes. Yeah, that one. That one I read, and they were saying that. There's a tomb. I mean, that's a way of, uh, of, 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 uh, how do you call this? I mean, that's a way of knowing Jesus existed. Like you also said, that people say, I mean, there's so much confusion. People say Jesus was buried here, or and, and, uh, again, you said another person said he was buried here and whatnot. But there's so much confusion. You get it? And again, it's it's like. Um, uh, like like I say, there's a group of people who... But then I'm trying to understand, why not believe in Jesus? Jesus was a messenger of God, yes? Mm -hmm. So what's there not to believe about him? Anyway... It's just a person like you and I. Yeah. Only that back then, he was a messenger. So why don't you think he existed? For me, I feel like we can't find this... We can't find like it's even even the characters in the Bible. We can't find their their what like their meaning. You can't find anything about them. So what makes you think that all these characters we read about in these religious books really existed? It was just a way of of, uh, of of what like making people having that faith just by talking what about these people. What makes you think that you can sit down and argue with someone and say, but our ancestors used to do this, but you have no living proof that our ancestors actually did this? Exactly. Uh, for me too, like, living living in the now and trying to experience the good things that you're experiencing or even the bad things, I think that's the best thing ever. I understand? Live a good life in a way that you're righteous, be good, be good to people. So you pretty much don't believe anything. You don't believe our ancestors were able to do that. You don't believe Jesus existed. Our ancestors were there. Our ancestors were there. You get it. But um, I also came to an accent of thinking of there are people who are saying our ancestors used to fly. They used to do this and that. But uh, I mean, if coming to think into think deeper into that, you're like, okay, fine. We're able to fly. That means even these things that we read in the Bible and the, and the Quran and maybe other religious books, they're, they're also true. You get it? But somebody cannot just come out of nowhere and say, you know, these things used to exist. Okay, fine. I know 100 years from now, 100 years from now, other generations will start, will start uh, sorry, they start learning about us and they will say, like, do you know these people used to have, used to use probably some things like things that were called cell phones? You get it. maybe at that particular time there'll never be cell phones or anything like that. There'll be something of a maybe of different or whatever thing. And then maybe one person is gonna be like, no, I don't believe in that. You get it. I don't but the, but the good thing is that we have nowadays we have videos, you get it, they will show them, you see, this thing used to exist and this is it. But look now, since 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 there is no footage, there is nothing. There's nothing to go. Okay, fine. There were books. That's why there are, there are some people who uh, say that there are some books that were taken. Oh, and, and, and I stand and, correct. This video actually said archaeologists, did you say archaeologists or something, mm -hmm. have actually proven certain things. 
Okay, it's, it's true, probably it's true. But what I, what, I, what I was heading to say, like back in those days, there were no cell phones, there was nothing. So there were no any type of recording. The only thing that they were doing is into they were putting things into text or scrolls. So those scrolls, they were actually hidden because there's a lot of knowledge in, in, in those scrolls. And I mean, they're somewhere hidden for probably these elites to benefit from, from them. You get it? For us who, ne who will never set foot into those scrolls, we will never know what is happening. We will never know whether these people existed or not. So we, we, just, have to, we just have to believe or not believe understand or put yourself into that into that um, uh, what do you call it, uh, mode of you know what I believe Jesus existed and that's true but if hundred years from now people will if if I say these phones existed there will be a proof there will be a what there will be recording there will be all over the internet there's Google that's why nowadays people are finding out people are finding out that some things are really um, some things never existed you understand the NASA whatever people went to the moon that's why there's a lot of things are coming out now you might not know probably it's also a lie probably it's the truth you will you know what I mean it's really hard to to know we just have to put faith uh, within ourselves and just uh, believe that okay fine these things used to exist until we set foot into those books that were hidden that's that's the the, the, the the green light for us to actually understand that oh this thing really existed or this thing actually really but for now it's really hard for us even to to just like the way the dad was talking about that guy killing 1000 people what if you killed 1000 people you understand even the dad himself is like no that can never happen you understand someone like the dad saying that can never happen what what makes you think that i also can say that no jesus never existed you understand i mean i have my own opinion and thoughts i believe that i believe that everybody has has their own opinions and, and, and thoughts about this religion matter that we're discussing about there's a lot of things out there that probably to our left and probably we don't know and I believe there are one or two people who really understand where we live in today and they know where we came from, you understand? And probably one or two people gave us religion, maybe to create conf confusion and separate us. You, you get it? I mean, I believe, I believe that w once upon a time we used to be one people, you get it? Then, boom, they started thinking of how can we make money in this, in this matrix where we're in today? Globalization, it's simple. I'm yeah. so confused as to why you don't think Jesus existed. I'm it's, still it's, stuck on that. Um, um, you once said um, women used to reproduce without men back then. Yep. Which is what Mary did. Mm -hmm. So. No, but according to the Bible, they said that Mary mm -hmm. uh, got the. Uh, yes. From, from what? So, what if that was. But she conceived without a man. It's not like God slept with her. Yeah, exactly. No what if exactly. you believe it's you? You're the one who told me this information. They are there. If, you, if you read and do your research, they are there. Yes, they are there. Mm -hmm. So that means Mary gave birth to someone. Exactly. To Jesus. Yep. So why are you seated here? I have, I have no doubt. I mean, guys, um, okay, sometimes you have to ask a lot of questions. I know it's, 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 really, it's really bad I'm questioning things, but what I came to understand. One question, one question, question everything and trust nobody. At this world we live in today. I mean, it's crazy, it's crazy. People can just come out of nowhere and tell you like, this is it. If you go there, then you, I mean, you might find yourself going into the wrong place. So you just have to find yourself first, find your inner you. The voice that is in you, that speaks to you, that's your intuition. Listen to that voice. That voice is very, very important. Anyway, guys, if you feel like you're reacting to this video in a better way, to give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down our comment section. Tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction and what you feel about did Jesus really exist. Just let us know in the comment section. Did Jesus really exist? I've given out my own opinion. I know you have your own opinion. My lady gave out her own opinion. Anyway, I know there are people out there who believe. Just let us know what, what, what you feel about this this um this what 
this this topic here that we've been discussing just let us know in the comment section do you think it really existed give us a valid reason and yeah the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel the way you keep subscribing and will give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give us a better better content and last but not the least we're going to see you in the next video and peace out